hello guys welcome to another tutorial um today i'll be showing you something different usual so today we want to look at um a plugin a vs code plugin that would uh, that you can use to write code so it's just like you having both integrated into vs code or an alternative to uh windsoft and um all this paid alternative but well, this time is going to this plugin is free so you don't need to pay anything to use this plugin and the plugin is klein i've been using this for about a week now so uh, i just want to make a quick review of it and show you how you can install it um the first thing you need to do is uh, go to your extension tab and search for Klein. So you can see um, this Klein here, Autonomous Coding Agent, right in your IDE, previously Cloud Dev. This is exactly what we're looking for. This client here is an alternative to uh, Copilot and other plugins, other paid plugins. Beauty of it is that it is free. But if you also have an API key for uh, OpenAI, if you have an OpenAI key, you can use it with it. If you have an anthropic key or Gemini, uh, Gemini keys, you can use it with it also. But it's a plugin that can do virtually what all these um SAS uh AI SAS code uh writing agents like bolt.dev uh bolt.new do and it's free. You can use it with all these free models also. Germany has launched some models that are free to use currently, at least for now. I think it's under testing and it's free to use for now. So uh, I think what they are doing is they are training the model using uh, your data. Of course, as you are using it for free, you are automatically training the AI mod uh, model itself so uh that's one of their benefits for releasing it for free to get you know easy way to train their models because it's an expensive process training an ai model is not something uh cheap very very expensive to train a ai model you know and they can just get it for free by offering it free for use so this way you are gaining they are also gaining so just install this. Uh, once you install it, you'll see this plugin right on your uh, left tab of your extension list here. So once you click on it, you'll get the um, this environment, this chat environment. So you can click this plus to start a new chat agent. First of all, you need to configure the agent so you how do you do that? You click on this setting icon to configure it. You can see this API provider provider here. This is where you pick your model provider. So you can use this with Anthropic, Google Gemini, DeepSeek, AWS, Bedrock, OpenAI, OpenAI Compatible, even LM Studio and Olama. For those of you who know Olama, Olama is a private AI. You can install on your system and you use it uh, privately. Unlike OpenAI, OpenAI is not private because uh, you don't have control over the data that they are collecting, or um, the model doesn't really belong to you. So it resides on someone else's server. So that is making it not a private AI. So for Olama, you can install it on your system and uh, it will reside on your system. 
you know you can give it internet access if you want to but if you don't want to it remains on your system it doesn't have uh internet access and you can um use it for ask just like you use normal ai but this time it resides on your system so your data is not going anywhere it's not leaving your system so that is what olama is i'll probably show you how to install this in another video so basically you uh, want to look at how you can get the keys so you select the provider you want to use if you have open ai key you can select on open ai and you enter the key here i have a key you know but i won't be using this so once you enter the key you can select the model you want to use so but for the free models you can use uh google gemini by clicking here you enter google gemini key and you can get google gemini key by going to uh i think ai.studio.google or something let me check that out so you can just google google ai studio and you'll see yeah so this is aistudio.google.com so once you get here just click on get api key here and create a key just copy it you don't need to subscribe or anything to get the api key for gemini once you copy the key you can go back to your ide and enter it into the gemini api so you once you enter it here, click on done. You can also enter it into open AI compatible here also. But for you to enter it here, you need to enter the base URL. I'm going to drop this in the uh, description of the video, the base URL for open AI compatible. So you need to drop the base AI and then the key. And the model name also i'm going to drop the model name also or for google gemini just enter the key and then you can select the models that you want so you can see i'm using gemini 2.0 flash experimental currently and then you can start chatting it up click on done once you click on done you can start chatting it up uh asking it to do whatever you want so for example now let me use it with an existing project so i have an existing project here this project is a hospital management system uh let me go back to So this is a hospital management system I'm working on. So I'm going to go to the admin section and just do one or two things there. Main slash. Okay, let me just I'm go, I'm going to ask it to add a login button. Look at this nav now. We have a navigation bar here. You have requested a demo but there's no login button so let's just let's ask it to add a login button that will link to a specific url so you can do that by just going to the this chat area this is where you chat with what i'm going to do is let me take a look at my folder structure you can ask it to do that but it's easier for you to just uh, give it directions since uh, instead of have it having to search all over your code base. So in this workspace, I have opened the front end and the back end. I've imported them as different workspaces, as different projects, but in one single workspace, I have the front end here and I also have the back end here. So in this back end now, I want to go to this is the sidebar. So this is not where I need to be. I'm going to the landing page. 
So the landing pages on this page is okay. We have the home nav. So this is the home nav. So I want it to add a button uh next to request a demo button. And the button should be titled uh login. And once the user click, it should redirect them to slash alt page. So let's give you the instruction. I'll say uh in the in the uh content next js because this project is in uh next js project in the front and landing page create a login button in the top navigation top navigation next to the requests a demo page and when a user clicks on it it should it should redirect the user to the login page login page routes now i'm going to place the route in a bracket which is slash the auth flow so after doing that you can also attach some files you know for this specific command i don't need to attach it oh it's going to search through look for the landing page and look for the uh, top navigation bar which is the home nav let me give uh upper direction top navigation i'm going to put home nav in brackets so even if i don't put it it's going to locate it but let me just put it because i'm trying to save um tokens here you know, the more it searches the more tokens it uses because he has to read all file structure until he locates it so uh, let's see what it does let's and see api request is making an api request calling the model then it will ask you for permission to read your read the file you can see it wants to read the file has located the file because i gave it direction it was easily so it's very easy for you to look at the file home oh, now mine wants to read this file so i can choose to approve or reject and you can auto approve but i don't advise you to auto approve because when dealing with ai you have to be very very security conscious so i don't recommend uh giving it permission to auto approve itself so i'm just going to approve this it's making another request it will read the content and we wants to edit it it will also you can see so this is the changes he wants to make that's at the button login button and it's asking me to either reject these changes accept it so if i accept the changes he can save now it will proceed to uh Okay, so it's a, it's a zone, but I don't see where it redirects. Yeah. Let's let's check the front end. Because it doesn't look like it's with uh, it that. So, wow, it did that. You can see it's working. Let's check the code. I'm trying to locate where it's directing. On button click. Okay. Then paste it. Paste it, then we'll login button. 
Okay, you can see it here. You can see the changes here. Pushing outer dot dash port dash flow. So you can see 